Hey everyone, so today we're ranking all the units in Algebra 2 Honors. Now obviously it might be taught in a different way at your school, but these are just the 10 general units that were taught to me. So unit 1 is quadratics. This is where we got a little intro to complex numbers and also just like a review of Algebra 1, right? So we learned how to solve for x by undoing, using the quadratic formula, factoring, all that. So if you have a strong Algebra foundation, this one should be an easy unit. Unit two, common logs. This one's going straight into the free category because it's basically like the inverse functions unit, but way easier because you're only dealing with uh, bases of 10 and there's not much to it, right? The conceptual stuff here is pretty simple to understand once you get enough practice problems in. Unit three is where it starts to ramp up. This one is definitely going straight into the hard category. If you struggle with algebra, this one will be a really tough time because you are dealing with all these new exponent rules radicals right so trying to understand all that while trying to get the algebra down is definitely tough um but yeah so unit four is circular motion this one is exclusive to the honors course i believe it might be taught differently at your school but that's just the way it was for me um this one was definitely by far the hardest unit i mean it was just so foreign in terms of the content it was just the introduction to a whole new uh, level of math so you would talk about like the unit circle uh, radians and a lot of that stuff and there was even like angular velocity and stuff like physics like it was just it was just a it was a mess so this one's going into the you will fail unit five polynomials this was a breath of uh, fresh air right so this one is more qualitative than quantitative so you're not really crunching numbers but instead you learn about like the properties of functions and graphs which was actually pretty interesting because you learn about like end behavior turning points and i wish this unit was taught earlier because that built a really good foundation for just you know knowing how to solve general quadratics and stuff in creating graphs this one's going in the med category but definitely a really really fun unit unit st six statistical reasoning this one was not fun because um, you know, with stats, it's more like a English course, you know, like knowing the right keywords to write. And if you write one word off, you get points deducted. So this one is really just, you have to be careful, know how to use your calculator. Um, but the content itself is not hard whatsoever. So I'm putting this one into the easy category. Unit seven, inverse functions. So this one builds off the common logs. Um, this one just takes a lot of repetitions, right? I mean, there's only a set amount of practice problems, and then we do them over and over again, you're going to get the hang of it. So this one's not that bad, but I'll put it into the mid category. Unit 8, probability. So probability is sort of similar to statistical reasoning, but it's more procedural. Um, I would say probability is based off, like, the rules. There's just a couple, like, probability rules that if you memorize, you're going to get the tests completely uh, sets so this one i'm gonna put in the easy category unit nine recursion so recursion is definitely going into the mid category you have to know how to like create your own sequences make rules for them there's a couple formulas that aren't given to you on a reference table uh, so this one there might be a bit of a learning curve but eventually you'll get into it because it, you have experience with creating uh, equations like exponential equations or linear equations so stuff like that unit nine is going into the mid category Unit 10, families of functions. I can't really speak much on this because to be honest, when we covered this, we had like a week of school left and I was just, you know, I was just not paying attention, right? But from what I've heard, this one isn't that bad. I mean, it's just transformations of functions, uh, kind of similar to geometry where you have to do those coordinate rules, uh, like X, Y going to negative X, negative Y reflections, transformations and stuff. But yeah, there's just a couple things there. I'm going to put this one into the easy category.